All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Driver Mod. My name's Anthony. We're gonna be doing an oil change on the 2024 Mustang. We're gonna be showing you how to do that, as well as we're gonna be doing an oil analysis on this. This is the car's second oil change. We did an oil analysis after the first oil change because um, we wanted to kind of see how much you know break-in metals were in that oil change. We're gonna compare the amount of wear metals in this oil change sample with the first oil change and kind of get a baseline on do these engines come broken in from the factory or do you need to break them in uh, yourself after taking delivery. Now let's get to the oil change portion. You're gonna need 10 quarts of oil of 5W30. We're going with the AMS oil signature series. That is the best oil on the market. You're absolutely not gonna find a better quality product on the market. Now one of the primary reasons we are switching to AMS oil on top of the, the added protection and performance you're gonna get is its thermal stability. AMS oil signature series is good to over 300 degrees oil temperature. With these cars, I haven't seen them go in, I haven't pushed it to where it goes up into limp mode yet, but specifically with the stock GTs without an oil cooler, so the non-performance pack GTs and the non-dark horses that do not have, a, these base GTs do not have any sort of oil cooler whatsoever for the engine oil. They hold 10 quarts of oil, yes, but when all that oil gets hot, it, the heat's got nowhere to go and it literally just sits there and bakes and bakes and bakes. And I think that's why they went up from 520 to 530 because of the, the oil temperature. You do two or three pulls on the highway and your oil temperature is 250, 260. This oil is good to over 300 degrees, so we know the oil is not gonna be the weak link in the engine anymore. Motorcraft is definitely not something that I wanna be pushing over 230 or 240 degrees even, um, stock or modified. So we're gonna put the good stuff in that way we know we're gonna be good to go. We're also gonna be using an OEM filter. Uh, I have a surplus of these, so we're just gonna be throwing these on. This is, you know, it is just the GT. We're gonna go ahead and drop the lower panel. It's got, it's held on by a bunch of uh, screws. They, they got rid of the access panel that was on the previous gens. So now in order to do an oil change, you gotta remove this whole fabric-y uh, splash shield to get to the filter. It's still in the same spot. Not sure why Ford did that, but is what it is. Let's get started. Now, after you've removed the like dozen seven millimeter bolts, there's four push pin clips, two in the center of the splash shield, kind of equal with the control arms. And then there's two up front by the plastic portion of the splash shield. We're just gonna use our trim removal tool and get those as well. And then this panel should lower down. With those push pin clips removed, the panel lowers down. We just put it to the rear and that's gonna reveal your oil filter right in front of the power steering rack. It's nice where it's positioned compared to the rack because now it's not gonna spill directly on top of the harness like it used to. And then you've got your drain bolt back here on the back of the oil pan. So we're gonna do the oil filter first. Rotate it to back it off so it breaks the seal. And then let the oil trickle down into the pan. Nice and controlled, no mess. After you've let that drain, you're gonna reach up there and finish unscrewing it. Just be careful because there's still gonna be oil in the filter. Be careful if you are doing this with the engine super hot. You do want it to be warm, but if you're doing it while it's super hot, this part will definitely burn a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna put the filter in the bucket. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our new filter. All right, we've got our new filter. Just lubricate the O-ring a little bit. Lubricate the threads a little bit. It's a little bit awkward with the camera in the way, so I'm trying to get you the best angle on it as possible. Just spin it on until it bites. Spin it all the way down. And then once you get it to bottom out, you're gonna give it like a half to three quarters of a turn. That's it, you don't need to go crazy with these things, all right? All right, I would say that was about two thirds of a turn. And now we're done with the oil filter. Now we can go ahead and drain the oil. Now, those of you that are familiar with the Gen 3 days, you'll be Delighted to hear they've gone back to a metal oil pan with a metal drain plug. 
I personally didn't have any issues with the plastic oil pan. It made the oil changes super simple. You didn't need any tools. As long as your filter wasn't super tight, you literally didn't need any tools to do the oil change. You literally undo the oil filter and put it back on by hand. You undid the drain plug by hand and put it back on until it stopped. I never really had any issues, but a lot of people like to spend $60 on metal drain plugs for whatever reason. We don't have to do that anymore. We're back to metal. So it's a 15 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and break that free and drain the oil. These things take 10 quarts of oil. So make sure your oil pan, make sure your oil pan can hold 10 quarts. Break it free and perfect. Now we'll just let that drain for like 10 minutes or so. After the oil comes to a trickle, a slow trickle, go ahead and reinstall the drain plug, thread it in by hand, and then snug it down. It doesn't need to be super tight. It's got a rubber like gasket on it. You just need to bottom it out and give it another quarter turn. We're good to go. Now we're actually gonna add the oil and start the car. That way we can check for leaks before we reinstall that splash shield. We also almost forgot to get our oil sample after we pulled the plug, but we were able to get under there and, uh, and get enough oil for the sample but look how dark that oil is this oil only has 2600 miles on it that's how quickly the the oil from getting so hot just from regular daily driving and some hard some hard street pulls um that's how well the motorcraft did so again take 10 quarts we're going to go ahead and add that now all right we've got our 10 quarts added go ahead and put the filler cap back in now we're just going to get inside the car and start her up and check for leaks. All right, I would say we are good. I don't see any oil dripping on the driveway. see we are at 3322 miles and again this is the car's second oil change we did the first oil change shortly after 600 so this oil change interval was about 2700 miles now once you verified you've got no leaks go ahead and shut it off that way it's you know safer to be working under the car because we're going to put that splash shield back on we're going to back it off off the ramps check the oil level and then the job will be complete we got the splash shield all reinstalled hopefully you guys didn't need a video footage of uh, me doing that, it's pretty straightforward. I did put I did put the plastic clips in first. That kind of holds the splash shield in place while you're getting all the screws installed. That definitely made it easier. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so now we're gonna get the car off the ramp so that we can uh, get an accurate oil level measurement. All right, we got the car on level ground. We idled the car. We got some oil temperature in there. Got up to like 160 degrees. Uh, shut it off. And now we're gonna check the oil level. Pull it out, wipe it clean. All right, 10 quarts puts us right at the top of the cross hatching. So we are good on oil level. You can barely see the oil on the stick, it's that clean. Well, that is going to conclude the oil change process on a 2024 Mustang GT with the Gen 4 5.0. This will also apply to your dark horses and then subsequently any Gen 4 Coyote moving forward. Leave a comment down below if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And stay tuned for the oil analysis results. Definitely looking forward to bringing you guys that information because I think you all would benefit from that greatly. We'll see you on the next one here at the Driver Mod.